Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, so let's give the heavyweights a break for a second, man. Let's talk about this Charlo versus Lubin fight, all right? Um, man, this, this is a tough one for me to pick, man. Um, hmm. I think, I think, in my opinion at least, I, I believe Lubin is jumping off the porch a little bit too quick, man. I like him as a prospect. Um, I would like to see him get a little bit more experience, not necessarily 10 fights or nothing like that, but at least four or five more fights, maybe some fights against some other top-rated contenders before he steps in the ring with a guy like Charlo. Um, when I look at their style, well, whenever I see a soft Paul versus an orthodox fighter, the first thing that comes to my mind is who's going to control the lead foot? Because you know when the soft Paul and orthodox fight, they want that lead foot on the outside of the other guy's lead foot so they can get maximum power with their punches. Um, when I look at these two guys fight, man, Lubin, although both guys are fast twitch muscle type of athletes, real quick reflexes and the way they throw punches, um, I have more faith in Charlo's ability to fight going backwards and fight coming forward. Now, I know his brother Jamal is looking is looked at as more of the power puncher. Um, but hey man, don't sleep on Jamel Charlo's uh power puncher, man. You want, you know, you want to bring that work to him, he'll give you what you're looking for. You know what I mean? Do not, you know, do not go in there sleeping on him like you're gonna walk him down and just beat him up. And Lubin's a type, at least from what I see, I know he's fought a lot of amateur fights. I haven't seen all his amateur fights um or anything like that, but from what I see, he's the type of guy that wants to come forward, he'll make you miss by moving his head, bending down. Um, then he wants to land hard counter punches, overhand lefts, overhand rights. He's a quick puncher. Charlo to me, he can fight off the back foot a little bit better. I think his defense is a little bit tighter. I think he moves his head better in my opinion. Um, I think he could put, I, I might give him a slight edge in, um, the quickness of the hands, but it's, it's pretty damn close. Um, and he has the experience, man. He's fought way better competition, although Lubin is a, very good he was a very good amateur so he's out he has a lot of amateur experience but at the pro level obviously charlo has the experience and both guys are still young i know you know they're you know lubin is the younger guy but it's not like he's you know 22 and charlo's some 34 year old guy you know what i mean this at the tail end or something he's still a relatively young dude was he 27 or something like that both of these dudes are really young man so Man, this is a tough one, yo. This is a tough one, man. But I think I think Lubin's jumping off the porch a little bit too soon. Um, Charlo, in my opinion, like I said, I have more faith in his back foot game. So let's say Lubin does bring the pressure. I think Charlo can make him chase him a little bit and then step into hard uh, right hands, left hooks, and catch Lubin. Um, Lubin, you know, he'll drop his hands, walk you down a little bit. Um, try to, like I said, you know, make you miss. He'll take the little uh, lean back a little bit, then he'll come back with left hands and right hooks. I don't think he's going to be able to be as physical as he has been against everybody else, against uh, Charlo, because he will give you what you're looking for, man. You know what I mean? But maybe he will be. I don't, we'll see tomorrow night. That's the beauty about this. There won't be much speculation. We'll see all this tomorrow night. All the questions will be answered. But uh, I'm going to go with Charlo in this fight, man. Um, but I'm really, really curious to see who's going to take the lead, like I said, with that uh, lead foot. Who's going to be able to have their lead foot on the outside of the other guy's foot to get maximum power. And I think Charlo can stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but I think his thing would be, you know, play the back foot a little bit. And then as soon as he catch Lubin and he stuns him or hurt him, then jump on top of him. Now, Lubin said, uh, I was watching the uh, one of the videos from a few days ago, but he was saying... Uh, you know, let Charlo come in there and be wild and try to knock me out. I don't think Charlo's going to do that. I don't think he's going to come in there overly aggressive and try. I think I think he'll wait. I think he'll wait it out. But if he does buzz him or clip him or start to take advantage of the action, then I think he'll turn it up. But uh, Lupin's the guy, to me, in my opinion, that wants to come forward and control the action. Now, when I say come forward, he isn't coming out there like Joe Frazier. You know, he's come, you know, I just mean come forward, make you miss, keep that pressure on you by stepping to you you know you, you go over to the left he's gonna step to you go to the right he's gonna step to you. you go back he's gonna step to you keep that pressure on you make you miss make you miss keep you thinking charlo though is a different animal than anything he's ever fought man 
anything he's ever fought. So this is by far his best opponent on paper. And uh, Charlo, for Charlo, I wouldn't shit. Lubin is a good fighter, good prospect, but I wouldn't say this is his best, at least on paper. We'll see tomorrow night. But on paper, I wouldn't say this is the best guy he's fought. Um, but that, you know, it really ain't going to mean nothing going into tomorrow night, man. But I think the experience will carry out in Charlo's favor. Uh, on the inside, I just don't see Lubin overpowering him on the inside, man. I think Charlo is a very strong fighter. Again, like I said, I know his brothers looked at as the power puncher guy, but shit, man, Jermel got some hands too, and he got some power too, and he's a quick puncher. You know, both of these guys are, are such, you know, fast twitch athletes. I'm thinking that when they do get close to each other, Who's going to be able to land that fast, hard shot that the other guy doesn't see? It may be a punch like that that knocks the other guy out. You know what I mean? It's just these dudes are too. I want to say Charlo by decision, but it's just so much uh, energy these dudes bring, man. I, just, I don't know if I see this going to decision. I think these dudes are going to get into a firefight sooner or later, and it may come down to who can just catch the other guy slipping as far as um, when they're in the middle of exchanges, who can lay low a little bit and then try to catch the other guy with that sneaky, fast counter. You know what I mean? But um, it's going to be a damn good fight. I can't wait. And still, WBC junior middleweight champion, Jermel Charlo. Y'all let me just think in the comment section, man. I'm gone.